Okay, so this is your homework. It's a bit of a revision exercise. Uh, what I would like you to do, oh, there's a bus. Whoa, oh, wrong way. Oh, never mind. Okay, I missed it. So what I would like you to do is basically make a note of those four pollutants at the top of the screen. At the, where am I pointing? Uh, there somewhere. Hit the space bar if you need more time. Write it down. Pause now. And then at the end of uh, when I've talked to you about those four pollutants, uh, you will then get a, um, a uh, censored video. Okay, and you have to put the pollutants in the correct order. Uh, it is also on page 154 of your homework bo booklet. So it, it, this with it video works though without that. Okay, so I am going to um, uh, talk to you now about uh, nitrogen dioxide. And nitrogen is a major component of the atmosphere. 80% of the atmosphere is nitrogen. And nitrogen dioxide is a pollutant that comes out of the combustion of uh, petrol in the car engine. Uh, the nitrogen itself doesn't come from the fuel, it comes from the air, but the engines get so hot that when you create that explosion of the petrol in the engine, it can actually react the oxygen with the nitrogen from the air and you get nitrogen dioxides or nitrogen oxides generally out of the uh, out of the engine. They can then react with water and uh, they can make a nitric acid. Nitric acid is a component of acid rain. So uh, you try and uh, reduce that, obviously, uh, for example, with a catalytic converter. So the next um, one that I want to, oh, there's that bus again. Uh, the next uh, pollutant I want you to, I want to talk to you about is soot. And soot is from the comes from the incomplete combustion of petrol. So, for example, uh, it in fact uh, it comes out of incomplete combustion generally. So, if you've got a candle and you put like a cold glass over the candle, you sort of waft it through the flame, then you will see that the bla uh, the glass gets uh, black, um, and the blackness of the glass or on the glass is soot. It's basically carbon. And the carbon comes out of the fuel, out of the wax, or in with cars, uh, out of the uh, petrol and diesel that they burn. And they are, it's particulate stuff, and it can cover uh, things, objects uh, that it lands on, obviously. Um, and it is also not good to inhale, because um, it, obviously, it, if it gets in your lungs, it's a, a sort of similar effect to smoking. Um, so that's, uh, that's a really bad thing to uh, have happen to you. Then we are talking about, um, uh, I just realized I've actually made a typo. Uh, let me just fix that. Um, Freudian slip there. That should be carbon monoxide. Uh, never mind. Okay, so carbon monoxide is a gas that binds to your, it also comes from incomplete combustion, and it binds to your um, red blood cells. The red blood cells are responsible for transporting oxygen through your body and if carbon monoxide binds to those red blood cells permanently more or less then uh, they are blocked from uh, transporting carbon dioxide out of the blood and also uh, getting more oxygen into the blood and if that happens too much then obviously you can you can die. Uh, hence people can die from carbon monoxide poisoning. So we've talked about all of them except for sulfur dioxide. Sulfur is actually in petrol and diesel and coal and uh, generally fossil fuels because sulfur is in the living things that made those fossil fuels possible. It's also in wood, of course, because wood comes from trees and trees also contain an amount of uh, sulfur. So if you burn a lot of fossil fuels and you haven't uh, clean them uh, of their sulfur content, then you are creating, you're burning uh, your petrol with oxygen. You can create sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide, similarly with nitrogen dioxide, can react with water and make sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is the other thing uh, that creates acid rain. So um, those two acids uh, contribute both to acid rain. Now, carbon dioxide, which was on there before, is of course implicated in climate change and it makes rain naturally acidic. But that's not, when we're talking about acid rain, that's not sufficient to make uh, acid rain. Carbon dioxide isn't. Okay, so now we come to the second bit and the second bit I call 
unnecessary censorship because I will blank over the uh, correct answers and you need to get those pollutants in the right order from what I am saying. Okay, so the first pollutant I'm going to refer to is um, a particulate pollutant. It covers the uh, the surfaces in a black 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 powder, and it comes from the incomplete combustion of a fuel. And it is, of course, <coughs> the second one I want to talk about is the one that basically suffocates you from the inside because it binds to red blood cells and it takes the place of oxygen and carbon dioxide in your blood. And that one is not good uh, for you. It's in fact toxic and you should therefore uh, never inhale it. And that one is never inhale. <coughs> the next one is one that creates a nasty little acid, which uh, contributes to acid rain. And uh, it comes from the contamination of the fuels itself uh, because the living things uh, contain it. And that one is, of course, the one that is called. <coughs> and the third, the fourth one is the last one. No prizes for guessing. It also con uh, contributes uh, to acid rain. And it is a, uh, the gas that it comes from is a major component of the air. 80% of it is uh part of the the what the what it is called and that of course is uh, it comes also from the combustion inside uh of hot engines uh and that one of course is called <coughs> i hope that you've got the right answers in the right order and i shall see you in the next lesson bye